Um, you know, that didn't go very ideally as a Phoenix Suns fan. The Timberwolves came in here and they blitzed us and they fed off their home court and home energy and they just walked away and just absolutely decimated the Suns today. When I tell you they came out here and slapped us in the face, they did more than that. This was a complete and utter beatdown from the beginning of this game. And I mean, the Sun just came out here and did not look ready to play. Grayson Allen looked hesitant and just refused to shoot the ball. Kevin Durant started on fire, but unfortunately no one else could feed off that energy and it was literally just the Kevin Durant show today. But looking at the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was the complete opposite for them. Anthony Edwards spazzed tonight, dropping 33 points, 14 for 24 from the field. He was just going berserk. He was even looking at Kevin Durant smiling at him, talking his stuff. You knew this was gonna come. Anthony Edwards hit a massive big time shot in Kevin Durant's face. He was letting him know this is one of his favorite players growing up. I'm pretty sure this is his GOAT. So the fact he's playing him in a playoff matchup and he gave this team the work. I mean, of course you're gonna talk your talk. But you guys do see Kevin Durant is smiling. So at the end of the day, I'm really not worried about this. This is something Kevin Durant is going to store in the back pocket and make sure that he remembers going forward. Trust me, Kevin Durant is gonna remember this. Kevin Durant is one of the best players in the world. He's gonna be on his A game. So if the Suns end up winning the series still, I mean, don't be surprised, but the Timberwolves did give us the business. Devin Booker was in locks almost all game. Uh, he had a couple wide open layups that he smoked. He had that left hand off the inbound with like 1.2 seconds and he just bricked it off the back of the rim. Booker had a couple good looks at the rim, just they couldn't get him to fall. And just Devin Booker just honestly was one of the reasons we lost this game offensively. You're supposed to be the second best player on this team and you came out here and shot awful. Five for 16 from the field is not going to cut it from your second best player. That is just unacceptable. And like we said earlier, Grayson Allen played awful. Very hesitant. There was a play where Grayson Allen and Kevin Durant were on the left side of the court. Kevin Durant was posting up and Grayson Allen just kept feeding the ball. Kevin Durant would kick it. Grayson Allen wouldn't shoot it, would just dump it back down to the post, wouldn't move. He looked scared. He looked timid. And unfortunately for him, he doesn't even have a chance to break that because he does have an ankle sprain. He went out today. And his status for the series is currently up in the air. He didn't return to this game. So if Grayson Allen does miss games, it's going to be a massive blow to this team. Fortunately, we do have Royce O'Neal to sub in, but it just sucks, man. Going forward into game two, there are a lot of things that need to be corrected. Like, for example, I don't think any of us thought that Nikhil Alexander-Walker was going to come in here and drop 18 points on 7 to 12 shooting on the bench. That wasn't on the bingo card, but it happened. You got to account for that. Your role players have to step up in these playoff moments. That's why the Denver Nuggets were very successful. Their role players, Michael Porter, Aaron Gordon, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, all those guys stepped up last year. If the Timberwolves want to win, Nikhil Alexander-Walker is going to be one of those players. Nas Reed is going to be one of those players. Fortunately tonight, Mike Conley shot 2 of 12 and they still walked away with the win. That's not something that you want going forward. Luckily though, Carl Anthony Towns was the best second option for this team. He was dominating, getting to the free throw line. He shot 8 of 8 tonight. He was having his way. He had a nice little stretch in the middle of the game and he led a nice run for that team. And speaking of big men, let's go ahead and shout out Rudy Gobert. I'm not a Suns fan, but his perimeter defense defense tonight was spectacular when he was on switches. He had Booker a couple times, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal. He stuck him pretty well, and people were telling me that he was going to get played off the court, but that just wasn't the case tonight, and if you watch games, you know Rudy Gobert is a very improved perimeter defender this season. He's one of the best rim protectors of all time. He's a Hall of Fame defender. Hate on Rudy Gobert all you want. The man is a Hall of Famer. Kevin Durant literally said it too in a press conference, so if you don't believe me, I mean Kevin Durant. Probably a top 20 player of all time gave him his prop, so if you can't, then I don't know. That's just sad. The Suns are going to have it out. Jaden McDaniels also defended Devin Booker really well. There's a reason that Devin Booker was struggling tonight. You have the switchability and length of this team. They can literally put anybody one through four on Devin Booker KD. It's, it's tough for him. The Suns dominated 3-0 in the regular season for a reason. If the Suns can get back to their ways, knock down their shots, play turnover free, we're going to have a good chance to win this. This is just not a good way to start the series, but Minnesota came out here. They took care of business at home court like they were supposed to do. We just have to come. We got to punch punch him in the mouth early on and we got to continue it going and we got to knock down our shots. And it also doesn't help getting out rebounded. 52 to 28. Gobert finished with 16. Anthony Edwards finished with nine. Towns, seven. Jane McDaniels, six. Just an overall team rebounding fest and we got to be better on the glass. We doubled our boards, dang near. That's unacceptable. Have to be better in that aspect. There's a lot of things the Suns are going to have to do and hopefully we clean that up. Otherwise, we will get bounced and a team led by Bradley Beal Devin Booker and Kevin Durant 
could get first rounded. We have to be better. But with that being said, man, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I mean, a 25 point loss does suck. My head is still high. I have optimism for this series, but I mean, we'll see how it goes in game two. Minnesota is still at home. If they take care of it, I'm still not going to trip because you're supposed to do that. That's why home court advantage is so lethal. You want it. You play better at home. That's just how the NBA works. That's how basketball works. You go on a run. The crowd goes crazy. Things can get riled up pretty quickly and it happened in Minnesota. They haven't been in the playoffs for like five or six years. They've been waiting for this and I am very excited to see how this series plays out but let me know down in the comment section below how you guys feel about this game what you guys noticed who you think is going to win the series or if you're a Suns or Timberwolves fan who you genuinely are concerned about going forward for the rest of the series and what you think needs to change with that being said that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video I typically post Arizona Cardinals content today Phoenix Suns so if you're a fan of either of those this is the perfect channel for you but like I said man that is all I got for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it's been your boy Mythic peace out Dance through the highways, hello.